just heard from the Kresge and the, uh, and the, and the amount of money is that the next level for, for the action plan is implementation. And we know that that happens as you look around this room with staff. We can sit up and create visions and adopt them and direct, so let it be written, so let it be done from the dais. But if we don't have the staff to go carry out the mission, then a lot of the issues fall short. So when you talk about four counties and how to move that, it's been an amazing odyssey the last four years to watch our staff create relationships, work with one another, um, work across other agencies, um, other, other businesses, and bring um, a relationship to the point that they all have uh, um, faith in one another. And, that, and how you figure all that out across all these boundaries is important, but there comes a point where you really need to have an office that moves, the next, moves us to the next step. Employees that get hired to work for the four counties, and that's what the Kresge Grant gets us to the next step, to really get to implementation. We need to dedicate some people solely within our counties to this job. And I'm so, so excited about the news. I have to confess, I did know before today <laughs> that it was happening. And when I heard, Jennifer will tell you, I burst into tears because this is, this is a process that started so long ago as a wouldn't it be cool if discussion that's turned into this. And so I'm, I'm ever the optimist, it's true. But I do think that we are really headed in a new path. It is not just the Kresge Grant, but it is a series of events that are happening nationally that are helping us find kindred spirits and understanding that these next steps aren't just on the regional side, but finding our elected officials. And I'm so thrilled to have city elected officials on this dais today and to hear from them about how they move these plans forward in their own plans um, in, within their cities. Recently, there was a discussion with the Broward League of Cities to sign on to the action plan, and one of the mayors of one of the largest cities in our county actually offered to sign on the napkin right now. Do I have to wait for a formal resolution? He said, can I just sign it right here on this napkin? There's that much um, eagerness and anticipation and kind of like a duh moment. It's not like we're having to convince anybody anymore. So. Um, Getting us to that next level, continuing to work together is where I see us going. And then finally, to make sure that we're not just talking about water and climate and coast, but we're also addressing the bigger issues. The biggest one out there I see uh, is the issue of transportation. We have got to start nailing and making sure that FDOT understands that the way of the future in this state is not to continue to build more roads, but to be able to put people where they need to go, move people, not cars, that the roadway is a privilege that should be enjoyed by many more than those who have um, the opportunity to own and maintain and pay for and ensure um, and fill with fuel a car, but for all those others that are walking, that are using pedestrian access, uh, I mean using um, buses and light rail, and then finally bicycles. I have a commitment, you have a commitment for me, those of you that are in Broward, and I'm hoping in my sister cities and counties to help move bicycle ridership to its next level. Um, we are a flat community and there is no reason why, well there is a reason why we don't, we're not riding bikes, it's because engineers have created roads for cars and they have not created them for other users. The privilege of the road, it's a public asset, uh, asset and it should be used by many, many more than the car and it's something I think we need to push to the next level and um, it's in our plan, we talk about it a little bit but I think we need to talk about it a great deal more. And um, I see Richard Trenise from our transportation department. He's been hearing this as a broken record for me lately. And I'm hoping when we come back next year, we will have much more to talk about in the ways of alternative forms of transportation that reduce our carbon footprint, they help us to get healthier, and help move this plan along. Thank you very much.